Someone asked me uh, a few days ago what practice uh, has been the one that uh, changed my behavior the most. And so I was thinking about that, and um, actually this was many years ago. Um, a teacher was giving me a compliment, and I immediately started to uh, talk her out of it. And um, she said, uh, just say thank you. And so uh, I tried that. Um, and of course it felt uh, very weird to me. Um, and I felt like I was uh, thanking for something that wasn't true. But I trusted this person, and so I just kept doing that, saying thank you when I would get a compliment. And after a while, really not so long actually, I realized that this was that person's truth. Um, and that was helpful. Uh, it was like a door that opened to this a little bit. And I kept on uh, with this. And after a while, uh, I realized that I was taking the information in and it was starting to change my view of myself. And it was uh, affecting my self-esteem. And um, so it was very beneficial and quite powerful, I think. And so when I think about that now, and that was kind of the first time that I think I was using thought training uh, to, to transform my mind, how I think. And now I try to apply that same method to anything that I have resistance to or come up against. And, um, in my mind, the way that I characterize it is I say to myself, think to myself, go in the opposite direction of how I usually think or what my mind wants to do. And over time, too, I realize that not going in the opposite direction is following the self-centered attitude that wants to keep me from any happiness, actually. And so I use that phrase, go in the opposite direction. And I, I just kind of think of turning around and going in the opposite direction. Now, this opposite direction is uh, difficult. And mm, when I do it, often 99% of my mind believes that uh, it's not accurate to do that. But I just keep with this idea of go in the opposite direction. And I think because that first time when the teacher told me to just say thank you, and I did that, and I felt the benefit, I have some confidence in this method. So if we don't try something, we'll never change. Yeah? We'll never change. So... I, ha I got to work with trying something, even though 99% of my mind didn't believe it. I thought it was baloney. It's not going to work. But I tried it, and then I felt that benefit, and I could see how much uh, I changed. And so it's kind of like putting an opposite emotion or idea in the mind and working with that, and going with that. And the way the mind works is, if I put an opposite emotion in there, an opposite thought, an opposite mental factor, and I go with that, then that's what's going to affect my mind. Um, so this idea of that I wasn't worthy of uh, any compliment, then I did the opposite. I started taking it in. I, and the, the doorway to open to that was thank you, even though I didn't believe it. And that changed my mind tremendously. And so the courage 
and to and the belief in ourselves and the idea that we can actually change our mind we can transform how we think and then how we believe in ourselves and others how we act if we have some confidence in that then we try something of like this method of going in the opposite direction and of course you know you don't have to believe me but if you try it you can see what happens yeah it's free <laughs> I understand more what you were saying when you said something like this was her truth was that because 99% of your mind wasn't believing it yet? Yes, yeah, still wasn't believing it so then I wasn't taking it in but I think by just saying thank you then the mind opened a crack and that crack was oh well this is her truth so then oh I can take that in thank you yeah and then that started opening the process and got deeper and deeper and then pretty soon I could see myself uh, in the compliment yeah I did try to do that that's what I did do yeah. mm -hmm. I really like your wording of go in the opposite direction that's very different from don't do that yeah which is often what we say to ourselves is don't do that but go in the opposite direction is a much more positive direction you know positive yeah. way to say it to ourselves yeah yeah and that just brings up another thing I have to figure out what kind of language works to move me to to help me and um, a negative anything will never work with my mind I know that for sure so it is to go towards something I will probably do it to the death <laughs> but to go away from something I am not on that at all that just turns my mind I I can't get under that so so yeah to figure out what kind of language will work to move you because when what do we want to move to happiness <laughs> happiness and not to suffer yeah sounds so easy but mm, not so easy <laughs> yeah